Did you know that narcissists use little known manipulation strategies? We all know that narcissists manipulate, but there's like some sneaky manipulation strategies that they use, things that you wouldn't even know that they're doing to manipulate you. And I want to point them out to you. I'm going to highlight those so that when you are being used and abused and you don't even realize it, that you're going to be able to spot them and shoot them down before they're even happening to you. So check them out right here. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung. I am an attorney. I am a narcissist negotiation expert. I've helped literally thousands of people through my law practice, through my coaching, through my programs. And I've written two best selling books. And I am on this mission to help you be able to shift the dynamic in your negotiations with narcissists. And as a lawyer and also as a person who's dealt with narcissists, I literally have this massive passion to help you. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell because I'm uploading brand new videos every single day to give you free content and give you everything you need, the tools that you need to shift that dynamic, to shift that power, go on the offensive, when it comes to narcissists. Okay, so they manipulate you. You know that they do, but did you know that there's like these little stealthy things that they do to manipulate you? And one of the things that they do, one of the little known manipulation tactics that they use is what I call faux apologies. It looks like they're, they're apologizing to you, but they're not apologizing to you. They are actually using that as a manipulation strategy. They're actually saying, oh, I'm sorry, but it's really a way to future fake you, get you back into their web, get you back into their lair, get you to do what it is that they want you to do or just to manipulate you back into their web of control. It's not really an apology. It's what I call a faux apology. It's a fake apology. It's definitely a manipulation strategy. Remember, everything they do is a manipulation. When they love bomb you, it's a manipulation. When they apologize to you, it's a manipulation. When they're nice to you, when they are not nice to you, everything they do is a manipulation. So. That's number one. Number two is when they ghost you, when they just stop talking to you completely. You know, they've love bombed you. They've gotten you into their web of control. They've said they love you. You know, even if it's a business relationship and they said, oh my God, we're supposed to be, you know, working together. We're soulmates, you know, whatever it is. And then all of a sudden you don't hear from them. And then you're like, hey, what's going on? And, you know, we were supposed to be doing all this stuff. You're emailing like 50 times a day, and then suddenly you don't hear from them at all. That's a manipulation strategy. I have a whole video on if you've ever been ghosted or lied to, watch this. You're definitely going to want to check that out. Number three of the little known manipulation strategies that narcissists use is guilt tripping. This is a big one that covert narcissists use. They guilt trip you, especially when they're like acting like, oh, you know, I wish you could have come. You know, it's really, you know, sad that you couldn't make it. That doesn't necessarily seem like a manipulation on the surface sometimes, you know, especially if it's like a family member or somebody that you love or supposed to love you but it can be a manipulation. And, you know, it's sad to hear that sometimes, you know, but it, it really can be a manipulation, especially if, you know, they know that it's hard for you or if it's something that you really, it's, it's a difficult situation. It puts you in a precarious situation, but they're guilt tripping you into it anyway then that's definitely 
a narcissistic manipulation tactic. The next one is flattering you. You know, oh, you know, you, you're so good at this. You're so fantastic, that sort of thing. And they're really just manipulating you into doing something that they know that you don't want to do, that you don't like, you know, or something to that effect, especially if, if it's really manipulating you into a situation that is maybe toxic for you or something to that effect. You know, that's really when they use flattery, you know, maybe it's using a combination of things, using flattery to guilt trip you into something. You know, it's flattery in and of itself may not necessarily be bad, of course. You know, who doesn't like to get compliments? But it's when they use it to manipulate you into something that's not necessarily something that you want to do or something that's definitely not good for you. So that's, that's number four. And if you just had enough of their narcissistic manipulation, just put enough in the comments right now. Enough. It's just enough. It's time to stop. It's time to put a stop to it. It's just enough already. All right. So that's number four. So two more. Number five is one of my absolute things. It just absolutely gets under my skin. I just cannot take it. And this is changing the subject to evade accountability. This is one of the things that they just, it's like trying to catch a wave and pin it down. I actually have a whole TikTok video on this, or, and you know, it's actually real on Instagram as well. And it's actually short, I think here on YouTube as well, where I actually did a whole little conversation on this, where it's, it's really a form of gaslighting where you're trying to have a conversation with them and you're like, Hey, I want to talk to you about those text messages, you know, those suspicious text messages. And they're like, why are you trying to bring that up now? And well, when would be a good time? Oh, you're now you're raising your voice. Oh, I didn't raise my voice. Oh, now you're being just difficult. I, I wasn't being difficult. You know, it's like you can never get to the subject at hand because they're constantly changing the subject to evade accountability. That is a manipulation strategy. It's a manipulation tactic. All right. So that's number five. And number six is just absolutely going nuclear. They just out of nowhere go from zero to a hundred and you're like, what in the heck is going on? And they do that to create this massive fire over here so that you don't talk about what's going on over here. They just go fat, whatever, you know, crazy, because then you aren't now talking about what's happening over here, right? It's now like, this is the news instead of this being the news. I'm sure you guys have seen these things. I would love to know which one of these you've seen. Write it in the comments. And if you've seen any other little known narcissistic manipulation tactics, I would love to see those in the comments as well. And please put enough in the comments too, because I know you have had enough and if you are dealing with a narcissist, you're getting ready to negotiate with a narcissist, please grab my free Crush My Negotiation prep worksheet at crushmydeal.com. Free ebook, free 15 page ebook. You definitely have to get that. It has won so many thousands of negotiations for people, and it's totally free. Crushmydeal.com and join my free private Facebook group. Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. The link is below for the Facebook group. Definitely join that. It's a free support group. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. I upload brand new videos and shorts every single day because I want you to have the power in your hands. And 
If you don't have your own therapy, your own access to therapy, I want you to have the support and help that you need. So I've partnered with BetterHelp, betterhelp.com forward slash Rebecca Zung. Again, the link is below as well, because I want you to have the help and support that you need. We do receive commissions. It doesn't cost you anything different or anything extra. We just want you to have the help and support that you need. So please remember that today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. They only win if you give in and you don't need to do that. Look at all the help and support that is right here for you. Okay, so I will see you all in the next video.